So I looked at the Cassi Gundam and the Penelope Gundam well over a year ago when they were announced in Korea. I looked at them and was like, oh, these, these seem interesting. You put my feet to the flames, which one am I going to go with? Probably Penelope. Just because the weapon setup seemed a little better, the reload rates seemed a little better, the, the weapon types and the reloads, and I said that already. It just seemed better. Uh, or at least the superior of the two machines. However, they both seemed to be, their playstyle seemed very close, almost identical to one another. So I didn't really see much point in, you know, which way am I going to go? Uh, they're rivals in the show, they're spo or the, the manga or novel or whatever it is, they're rivals, so whatever. But by far the biggest thing that keeps me from getting Penelope is it's goddamn ugly. It's it's so disorganized. It's basically a kit bash. It, if if it was a kit bash, I wouldn't be surprised. But it's not. So you know, I just can't bring myself to get Penelope. Cause see, on the other hand, looks fantastic, but it's got some dumb fire and it's got some kind of odd reload rates. So ultimately, I decided eh, I'm not really going to get either one. So both of them show up in SDGO North America, and I looked at them, and I watched, you know, I, I demoed both of them, and ultimately I decided not to. Then, a couple of days ago, I had this little thing in the back of my head that said, Ava, you actually might want to get the Cassie Gundam. So, uh, here I am listening to myself. And, uh, you know, don't, don't turn it down if you have the opportunity. Delta Plus, not what I thought it was going to be. It's not going to get sacrificed, but I haven't used it. You can see the battery there is empty. Not what I thought it was going to be. I knew it was designed for melee use. It was, it's very much a PvP unit, but once I actually started using it, I wasn't really thrilled about it. So Delta Plus is sitting in the back of my hangar right now for... And by the way, the only reason I got to Delta Plus was so I could get the Cassie Gundam. So, yeah. Enhanced Double Zeta. Uh, as much as I bitch and moan about the weapons, uh, they buffed them quite a bit uh, a couple of a number of months ago. Um, I've heard some people swear by it. Uh, I had a tendency to swear at it. You would think that long-range beam cannon with knockdown good reload rates and then a bunch of homing missiles would be a good idea. And I would just crave something like that. It basically did everything that the other, the, the regular a rank Double Zeta didn't do. So why then did I turn it down? I'm not sure. Maybe someday I'll make another one. I've tried to use it several times, and you can see the battery, 15 out of 20 uses. So, I can always make another one. But this one, I just, yeah. And because I didn't like it initially, uh, in order to get rid of some paints and decals and things like that, I just dumped them on there, saved it, dumped more on, saved it. So that's why it's green with a bunch of stuff on it. Full Armor Double Zeta, or rather Faz, the mass production Faz. Um, I like it. I really like it. The only problem I've got with it is A, boost duration because it's a former paper, and B, for whatever reason, the anti-flinch seems to be glitched on my side. Like mission or PvP, the anti-flinch never seems to work for me. So I'd love to have it. I'd love to use it. I wish I had an alternate mode that had somehow incorporated homing missiles, but I can't use it right now. Zeta plus A1, don't care. Uh, Jagan shield missiles, dump fire on a C rank, don't care. Again, I'm not quite sure why I'm going for this. Oh look, someone accidentally turned their graphics up. Hmm. You gotta admit, that looks badass. The panel, the way the panels, like the panels are kind of crazy, but they just line up in just such a way. It's like, okay, I, I can go for that. Radar, never use it. Cloaked opponents on radar, as opposed to right in front of you, which is odd. Increased attack, okay. Defense, okay. Search distance, don't care. Uh, speed, agility, booster capacity, awesome. Beam saber, attack speed, why? And funnel missile range, okay. Funnel missiles are these things, by the way. Homing missiles. So, yay. At least they didn't, you know, do it on, like, the dumb fire, because I would have been pissed if they'd done that. So those are, and they're both they're both custom, by the way. So yeah, like the Penelope has a Minovsky craft as well, but uh, it's more or less the same thing. I'm sure it's just the percentages that are different, though. Moving on.
I have not used this yet, obviously, but uh, I don't know. If I do, what am I going to do with it? I don't know, honestly. Now, it says long range battle type, which means it's a former paper, so chances are I'm going to have to do the mobility thing. Give it increased boost duration. Um, probably that one, because you, you no additional booster when jumping, which is awesome. I'll probably never take it to EX, but yeah. So, I mean, as much as I enjoy using defensive type, uh, I'm probably going to go with, like, mobility or something. Maybe. Like mobility, maybe some attack. I'm not sure. Combine, probably not ever. So, meh. Did the skills, decals. Okay, then. Whatever. Makes sense. Come on, turn! Damn it, I got the turn glitch again. Okay, we've already moved into sexy territory. Guessing the shoulders, yep. Oh wow, look at those things. By the way, should I mention that I uh, just purchased the SD Cassie Gundam, by the way? And, and not this one, but like the actual Gunpla. No spies there. Ooh, this is getting better and better. Please be red. Yay. Actually, that's kind of better. Wow, that looks nice. Hey, I don't have to paint the eyes. Woo! Oh, beam rifle disappears. Okay. Okami coloring, not bad. Wow, that looks great too. Okay, let's go for the old standby. Already looking awesome. Hmm. And the red is obviously already red. Ooh, so sexy. Wow, that looks great. <laughs> Maybe go a little different, go that way. I don't know, I might have to give this guy a custom paint job. Not sure. Nice. Yeah, this must be one of those units that paints up really well, no matter what you do with it. That's nice. I, I love these paint sets, I just never use them. <laughs> And that, uh, that looks nice, too. Wow, I, that's going to paint up well no matter what. <laughs> Not bad for a former paper. Ava, what's a paper? Yeah, I've heard the reload on this thing, the, the, the Weapon 3 is really bad. Seems to me it's got an effect attached to it, but I can't remember what. Okay, this is not a case of three shots, four with patience. You actually have to wait for the thing. I can live with that reload. That's not too bad. Ten shots, eleven with patience. That's not too bad a reload. It's like slightly lower than the normal. Does go out to meet it does go out to long. Whoa. That's pretty darn close for that thing. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Wish my graphics were higher. Wait, so the sh so the shoulders close when it's in missile mode? I thought that was the other way around. Hmm. Hmm. 
Alright, whatever. It's ironic, these are called funnel missiles. The way they behave in, uh... They actually beha they're about as close to GN fangs as the Universal Century can get right now. These are actually missiles that behave like, uh... Was it? They behave like, um... What's it called? They behave like your typical funnels in that they home in on the target, but rather than shooting, you know, standing back and shooting, funnel missiles actually physically hit the target, so they're essentially a self-guiding uh, missile. Good damage. Oh, wow, look how close those go. They didn't hit, but yeah. Trying to figure out why it is that they did it this way, uh, with the dumb fire and the homing missiles in the same mode. Like I would have done a, I don't know, a melee mode or something like that. Not sure. That's not bad. Half HP. So basically, you can almost kill a sea ring. So I'm probably going to want to do an attack up of some kind on this. That doesn't surprise me. Alas, if only it could actually do that kind of missile spam. Good damage, too. Look at that. Wow. It's okay if you boost, Ava. By the way, that, that uh, weapon 3 there is an instant knockdown, if I remember correctly. So that's probably why it takes so long to recharge. Honestly, I'll be stunned if the missile mode does better. You see, it's kind of lethal for units to stay up in the air for a long period of time in STGO, because they just get popped out of the air. Yeah, it runs the same duration. So why it is that Papers had this ability, this weird ability to be able to stay up in the air for long periods of time, I don't know. It never made sense. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on getting it. But, uh, I mean, it, it seems okay. So I, I was definitely trying to avoid the flavor of the month, you know, unit of the month thing that happens. Reload rates seem reasonable and good in both modes. Not as bad as I thought they'd be. Damage seems fair enough. I might want to do attack with, uh... Attack up with, uh, maybe, uh... Let's see, probably a medium reload. Yeah, that beam rifle reloads, or the weapon 2 beam rifle reloads just fine. Reload on those two seems reasonable, considering what they do. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I, I think this is kind of an average S rank rather than an outstanding one. I'm not getting all giddy about it like I did with the uh, the Crossbone Cross 3 or the Gatalaza or anything like that. It's just kind of average. So, yeah. Uh, is it worth it? It's not difficult to obtain, so that's kind of a good thing. The Faz will probably be the most difficult part for you. The Enhanced Double Zeta will take a while, just, you know, the nature of the beast. But, uh, yeah, not bad. It's nice, but not outstanding, I suppose. Although, that's probably ignorance talking. <laughs>